Uh, uh, I make the payment for all things. But they need to pay for a different reason. Used to be for a little different reason. Now, so today we made. I haven't looked at this one. Yeah, look at that one. So we made the a few different papers. Uh huh. Story got picked up all. Uh, Omaha World Herald, I've seen it on ESPN, NBC Sports, all over the place. You want to talk about... MySpace? Is MySpace still going? I thought it, it was MySpace. I just got a, a MySpace page for the show. I hope it's still going. Uh, awesome. I didn't know it was still out there. I never hear about it much anymore. So, so we had... A, Tommy tweeted something yesterday. You want to talk about or recap what you tweeted yesterday? Or Yeah, I, I don't have no I mean, problem. Everybody, I think everybody that watches it, I'll tweet. I had no problem with what we're recapping. You know, it took a... It, th- that tweet took a lot for me to, you know, talk took a lot for me to do, simply because I was at the game, and 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 I I, I believe Nebraska. I'm very supportive of Nebraska. I want to see them win every game. I want to see them win every championship, which I know you can't do. It's not gonna happen. But but after that game and driving home and listen to and watch how the game turned out, and then listening to the post game press conference. And then getting home and sitting down on the couch and just watching other other games on TV, I had it, it, it bothered me about how it unfolded at, at, at what was happening at Nebraska when when you when I was watching A and M versus yeah. versus Alabama. Just compete. And and, and 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 Alabama got up by what they was eighteen points, and and, and Texas A and M those guys they they, they fought. They, 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 the game was never over with, and it, it bothered me. And so. And I said, I think I put him out, out before. I, before I left the game, and I, I got to get off my chest. And, and I and I talked about the defense more so than the offense because I didn't want to go on this huge rant because I knew that on this show today I was going to bash. You, you get my feelings out about the offense, but when 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 you have a defense who over the last six or seven big games opportunity giving up. 500 or more all yards offense, averaging 40 or more points a yeah, game. Three yeah. game streak of 40 or more Something points. is wrong. Something is wrong. And so, I, what I'm trying to do is hold the people who are in charge of that defense accountable. And they're not rookies. No, they're no, not no, no, one, no one is holding those coaches accountable. And when I hear them saying, well, we didn't execute. Which to me, when I hear that, you're putting it back on the players and execute. Well, who's responsible for those players executing? Then I hear that, well, this is a young group. I understand that, but UCLA had a young group, young yeah. players out there playing, and they execute their scheme. We need to work on the fundamentals. Then it goes back to then, then I see the thing that I start thinking about. Well, boy, well, they're young, but I saw the same stuff with seniors. Yeah. In big games, so uh, it. it, it uh, uh, to me, enough is enough. We got to hold those guys accountable for their action. In, every, in life, in jobs, everybody's job, you're held accountable for what you do at work. Why are we letting this group off the hook simply because, oh, we're dealing with a young team? Who spotted that they're a young team? How many guys did they recruit that was supposed to have been juniors and seniors left the program? So, so there's something that those coaches done, have done to make this a young team depend on many young players. So that that's where my frustration came out of, too, and that's why I tweeted what I did, to, to, to have people start holding those coaches accountable for what the product that many people are paying millions of dollars to see. I think that's key because I heard very frequently people said they're just young kids. Don't pick on the kids. But well, really, not, this is a major institution. There's millions of dollars being pumped. Okay, into the system. Well, you, you just said, don't pick on the kids, don't pick on the kids. Yeah. But what are the coaches doing? Yeah, we're talking about the staff. Well, no, what are the coaches yeah. doing? Well, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't execute. Hey, who didn't execute? Me, mom told me when I was 18, you're an adult. You figure it out. Yeah, who didn't execute? So whose responsibility is for to get them to execute? So, so, so when you're dealing with the type of money that's coming through this universe, you're dealing with the players who, have, who are blood, sweat, tears, um, some got paralyzed on playing for this for this football program. Some 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 have died for the, that played for the university. It's like time. Injuries. It, it, it's time to start protecting what was built, what Nebraska's built on. And 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 I think right now Nebraska has this, has has this mindset that we're still a national power. We are no substance right now 
on the bigger scale in college football. And 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 and, and our identity is reflected on the type of coaches that we have right now. And, and I'm not. Don't get me wrong when I say we need to get rid of guy. I, I truly don't believe that. That was just frustration coming. Out. But I think there needs to be some changes. 